Before my admission into medical school, I've always believed that you have to be very intelligent or a genius to study medicine and surgery. In fact, I never really considered medicine as a course I could study because I felt I wasn't a genius. I felt I was not intelligent enough to study medicine. All I knew then was that I enjoyed biology as a science student and would love to study something closely related to it. I was never among the top 10% at my secondary school. I never really carried first or second back then in secondary school. In fact, I never really carried 10th or 14th position in secondary school. My overall average performance back then was between 60 to 67%. I was only an average student and not a genius. I still remember the day I checked my first jam result like it was yesterday. I scored 163 on my first attempt at jam. Yes, I scored 163 out of 400. At that time, the least score you could use to enter a federal university was 200, while for a state university it was 180. Sure enough, I could not apply to any school with such a low score, talk more of applied for the most sought after course in every university. I was desperate for any course in any school at that time. I just wanted to leave home for the university. News of my friends and classmates getting admitted at that time didn't even make it any easier. I just wanted to leave home for the university to study any course at all. Hello there, this is Medicine TV, home to medical school excellence. Today I will be telling you about how I got admitted into medical school after several attempts. Please sit back, relax, and listen. After a failed attempt at JAMP, I somehow managed to convince my parents and siblings to allow me to register for the pedigree program also known as basics in the university. Luckily for me, they agreed and that was how my journey in the university started. I applied to study nursing science during the pedigree program. You might be wondering why I picked nursing and not medicine. Well, like I said before, I thought only very intelligent people could study medicine and not average students like myself. I started a pre-degree program and seven months later, I wrote the final exam that would get me officially admitted into the school. After the exam, days later, the results as well as the admission list was released and I didn't get admitted into nursing. Meanwhile, during the course of the program, I sat for another jump and the outcome of the exam was not nice. In fact, the outcome of the exam was terrible. So after weeks and weeks of waiting for more admission lists to be released, luckily for me, I got admitted to study human physiology. Yes, I got admitted at last. You needed to see the excitement on my face when I saw my name on the admission list. I still remember this day as though it was yesterday. That particular day was one of the happiest days of my life. Moving on, I resumed school as a physiology student. I started attending classes and started to make new friends. Andre level was kind of fun for me. I would be honest, I really enjoyed it. Gradually, the thought of studying medicine started to enter my head as I was living in a medical hostel and I had a lot of medical students as friends. Somehow, the pedigree program instilled in me a habit of studying, and thus, I was always studying and I was among the top 10% in my class. Yes, I saw a dramatic improvement in my academics following the pedigree program. In fact, my academics were so great that I started considering strongly to switch to medicine. I remember approaching my HOD and my course advisor about switching and they told me that I couldn't because I was among the best students the department had. After we moved to 200 level and began receiving lectures in anatomy, physiology and biochemistry, my interest in medicine became even stronger. I wrote another jam in 200 level and 300 level physiology so I could switch to medicine but all my attempts were not successful. By this time I was already convinced that I could study medicine and I wanted to study medicine badly. In fact, I nearly missed the semester course examination, specifically histology exam, because the day of the exam clashed with the day I was writing JAMB. Luckily for me, I was able to finish the JAMB exam early enough and I rushed back to the examination hall. I remember meeting the histology exam 15 minutes to the end of the exam. That year, I scored 222 in the JAMB and I scored 51 in the histology exam. Unfortunately, I still couldn't secure admission with the JAMB result that particular year. After trying to get medicine for 5 years after secondary school, I finally got admitted to study medicine and surgery after graduating from physiology via direct entry. Yes, after 5 long years. Yes, after 5 long years. During this time, I gained more confidence in myself. I learned leadership and communication skills. I learned to appreciate the function of the human body and most importantly, I came to understand that medicine is not meant for only the most intelligent people. Anybody, whether average or above average, with pure determination and willingness to learn can study medicine. For example, I was never among the high flyers in my school, yet I was able to get admitted to study medicine and I never failed at, repeated or worse. 
So if you're watching this video and you have plans to study medicine, nursing, pharmacy, radiography, physiotherapy, dentistry, or any other medical course of your choosing, hear me today, you can do it. Yes, you can do it. These courses are not reserved for geniuses or very intelligent people only. If I could do it, then you can do it too. Just believe in yourself and be consistent in working towards achieving your goals. If you enjoyed this video, then please like, share, and comment to tell us any specific areas or topics you need help in. Also, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, please hit the subscribe button now.